Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 16 by 20 inch canvas and a whole bunch, an array of different shaped swipe cards that I will probably decide to dip into some black mead and paint which is on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is below the link tree. That's under the video. I also have this, which I may use first. So, now, I'm thinking a puddle of paint would be good an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula will spread just enough paint to give me a third layer because this was a black canvas when I started and then I gave it a very thin coating so that it would have a semi-gloss finish and it wasn't perfect and it's still not perfect but I don't think I mind and I am spreading mead and paint on here again it could be just regular black, but the Meaden sells so well, it's kind of irresistible. And I just ordered another half gallon last night. I tend to shop like after midnight. <laughs> Amazon knows it too. I do have an Amazon link, and if you shop there, it's at no other cost to you, and it helps me out. That's where the Meaden is. So I'm contemplating adding some white to this and putting my colors in the white, but I also want to put my colors through the black as well. So I'm going to put another puddle of black and then make a little puddle of white. And I'm going to use as many colors as inspire me at any given moment. And I'm not going to be shy with them. That is the Venetian Blue from Modern Masters. This is an ancient and spattery. This is an ancient purple color that was a mica, mica powder, and I don't know how this is going to work. And it is buried somewhere on my Amazon link, and if you need the link, just ask me. I will try and find it for you. I have some color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. I have some chrysocolla, which is a prism pour from Color Art. And I have an Arteza blue that's just awesome too. Let's put that away for the moment. This is the Arteza. I think that was a, called a neon and um, it's definitely metallic and pearlescent. The last time I made these fancy S shapes, but I think I can make them my shapes just using the card. Here's some neon folk art, neon purple from folk art, and it's um, very similar to the flash. This is Decorate Americana 24 karat gold with a little bit of orange mixed into it. And I want some orange this time, so this is just my regular Hobby Lobby brand with some yellow mixed in, which may or not be good. So I'm going to use some more orange with that, which is Hobby Lobby brand with iridescent pearl fine from Golden mixed into it. And the reason I'm doing this puddle in the center and on a large canvas is because I expect to, to swipe out really far and really wide. Um, thinking I might want some some dioxazine purple. I could tip this and be pretty happy. I bet it would come out great. So what else? I have two more colors to go and one is my neatest white metallic with some fluorescent pink from Folk Art. And the other one is my other prism pour. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the one with just water in it. And I think I'm going to grab a little spoon. These spoons are great, and they're on my Amazon link too. So this is no pouring medium, just water. Because I need to see once how that works in this regard. There's a lot of that there. There's a lot of everything here. <laughs> I was not chintzy on, in this regard. So, now, the question is, how do I start? And I think the answer is also that I'm going to put, I'm going to find the smoothest side I can, and I'm going to put some meat and black on right on the, right on the edge of this. As cautiously as possible, because I found out there's a tiny, tiny dash of water in this. 
and I found out it's as black as ink, even with my regular pouring recipe, which is below the video, by the way. And I have to be kind of cautious. Now, that's probably way more than I need, but that's okay. So I'm going to leave that and go to another card. And I'm really thinking about the white, but I also want to use my Anita's White Metallic. So let's just do that. Because I've got the meaning in there already. And if I put some of my hot orchid right there, and then a little bit of what? You know what? I don't know if I used any. No, I didn't use any of my Decor Americana 24 Karat Golden. It's plugged, which is too bad because I really want to use some of it right now. And I'm going to stop and take the plug out of the tip so I can do that. Then I'm going to use my either my maiden white or my maiden black, and let's try both. There's some white. There's some black. Let's grab another card. Am I done? There's a question. I'm getting close. I want some more of that Venetian blue. Actually, I want some more of that blue from Arteza right there. That is a magnificent blue. I should find out what that is. If you ask me, like I said, I will try and find out. Let's see what happens when I use the Prism Pour Hot Orchid with it. And a little bit more gold. Come out. Time to clean that tip again. Wow, that was fast. And just the smallest amount. And the nice thing about the cells that pop with this is the cells that pop with this. Am I done? Oh boy. I'm going to think about this for a second. I've got beautiful colors right on my edge catcher, and I'm very tempted to just take those colors right off with one of my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatulas after I get my bottles out of the way, give myself a clear spot to operate on the table, and I'm just going to scrape those colors, which I probably should have left because they're really pretty. I've got some gold mica powder. That I would like to play with also. It needs to be used up. That's a lot better. I'm happier with that right now. But I'm not still not feeling as pleased as I'd like to be. Wow, that top is not on. Here we go. <laughs> wow, that was too close. So as much as I like that, I'm still, I'm not done playing yet. Where's my... My tools are just skewer, skewer handles with a piece of duct, clip, duct tape, taping on a piece of acetate. I made a little ferrule. 
that's kind of nice. It's a lot more subtle than I was expecting. I could definitely drag some of those. Areas right out. I could blow them out too. That might be kind of fun. This is the uh, color shifting purple flash from Folk Art. I'm kind of feeling some turquoise coming on. I know that's not turquoise, but it doesn't mean it's not coming. I didn't use any of my darker turquoise, and I maybe would would like to. And it's open, so that's a, that's a good omen. Now, anytime I decide that something isn't quite right, that's the moment I decide whether I'm going to add another color or not. And do whatever else I'm going to do. I'm really tempted by the airbrush. And by all the colors I could steal. Let's try it. Because that prison pour is really sticky. And it's just got water in it. sure I like that any better. It'll probably look really nice tomorrow. I just want to put a little bit of maiden black around. The outside of it. For somebody who doesn't like ruffles, I'm currently ruffling this up. There, that's a lot better for me. I'm just going to use the dull end of the skewer, or the handle end, whatever you want to call it. Because I put that little layer of black there, it means I can pull some of my tendrils out. That's pretty neat. I like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the turquoise. I've got a few minutes left to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork. And that's, that's really dangerous. <laughs> Maybe a straw is a whole lot safer idea. I still have some of that gold mica powder and I'm very tempted to grab some of it. It came out of the bottom of a bottle and it's probably a couple years old. I'm not even sure at this point in time what I might have mixed with it along the way. Sorry, I'm quiet because I'm focused. I'd really like this to turn out well. And I'm not used to using the mica powder. And I don't need to be shy with it because there's plenty of it in this cup. I don't know when I'll mix up the next batch and it certainly won't be of the same consistency. So that's kind of cool. It makes me want some white. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I like this white down here. I've got some Anitas. I like that. That's fine. It's not bothering me. That'll dry flat too because of the Floatrol. I just would like a little something to draw the eye back and forth. Now I'm just basically playing. Hopefully I'm not making any errors. But if I do, I'll figure out a way to fix it. I'm a little happier with that. Wow. Okay, I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork and my email address is directly under the link tree that's directly under the video. On the link tree, oh, and I do have classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida too. On the link tree you'll find my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for shopping, my, my fineartamericanpixels.com. You can also shop the Teespring clothing below the video. I want to blow that white out. It might not be a good idea, but I want to do it anyway. Because I usually like how the, um, the white and the pink, or the pink... What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> bleeds. Pink bleeds into the white nicely. I could even do some more right there, but I'd still have to use the straw to do it. So I am having a good time, maybe better time than I should. I should be telling you guys stuff. I have the other Facebook groups are Expression to Start Studio Gallery, Totes and More, which is another place where to get to the shop now button, find out AmericanPixels.com, and Expression to Start Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. Come on. The hair trigger. Oh, I'm going to do it. That was risky. I don't recommend that. But I do recommend the mead and paint because look at those cells. And speaking of looking at those cells, I wonder if you've been in frame at all. And I have replaced my turntable with one that doesn't make as much noise, but it also swings wide. I got one minute left to tell you guys I have a monthly drawing, and you can see the prizes for the drawing on the end screen video, on the exhibition video there. It's usually in the top left hand corner, I think, but you'll see it. Hopefully, I can get a little closer than this. I wish I could. So anything I haven't told you is uh, starts with, I have 1,900 videos, at least 1,800 of them should be available on playlists. If you go to uh, my YouTube channel, go to playlists, all playlists, create a playlist, something like that. And uh, you can ask me for a link too if you'd like one. And I'll turn you on to whatever genre you're interested in. But they're organized by lists of 100. This is irritating. <laughs> I want that to be straightened out in the camera. Let's pretend. Let's pretend it's straight. So, I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And I was almost done telling you that my, my playlists are uh, organized by topic and genre. Right? So, what else? I need a thumbs up. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love to have that. Thank you very much. I will see you guys in on. Appreciate all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I think I said that. I put my torch in the wrong spot. So, I'll be torching to get rid of the bubbles caught in the paint. And after that, I will be gone.
So this was another good experiment. I can live with this one.